The year is 1818. And Thomas Wildman has inherited a fortune from his father's sugar plantations in Jamaica. He decides to purchase Newstead Abbey from his friend, Lord Byron. The Abbey stands decayed, cold and desperate. But Wildman has a vision. Piece by piece, he restores and repairs the Abbey. 22 years later, and following Wildman's death, the house is purchased by William Frederick Webb. Webb and his wife, Amelia, moved here with their small daughters, Augusta and Geraldine. Webb was an explorer, and the famous Dr. David Livingston once saved his life in South Africa. Livingston later came to stay at Newstead. The family would later grow to include two more daughters and three sons. Augusta once described how they would bake in the summer and freeze in the winter in their little attic rooms. So the Webbs gradually used some of their vast fortune to improve the house, adding gas lighting and central heating. Mrs. Webb honours Newstead's rich history and welcomes those who begin to visit the house. Many came, inspired by Byron's work and his legacy. The house passes from generation to generation until 1931, when Webb's grandson sells the house to Sir Julian Kahn on the condition that it is presented to Nottingham Corporation as a memorial to Byron. Byron's oak remains, as does his spirit. His legacy, along with that of the Augustinian canons, the Wildmans and the Webbs, lives on for future generations to discover and enjoy. <laughs>